Okay, for this experiment, uh, I'm going to ask you to wear gloves and goggles. That should be a, a small hint of what's about to happen. Um, for the magnesium, again, it's very similar to the vinegar experiment. Just take two or one one centimeter pieces of magnesium, drop it into your test tube. Then I have water in this beaker. You know, three milliliters of water should be sufficient. And let that go. Water relative to vinegar is a little bit, uh, is less reactive. So this will not be as interesting or as vigorous as magnesium with vinegar. Um, but uh, your job is to observe, uh, you know, how vigorous or not vigorous the reaction between magnesium water is. Um, and now for calcium, it will require a slightly different procedure. So use a cup, a glass, or a, uh, a Dixie cup, a glass, or a beaker. I'm gonna use this. Um, and you're gonna need about 50 milliliters of water and one piece of calcium. Uh, do not uh, let calcium touch your skin. Again, these are subtle hints of uh, uh, what might be more reactive or what might be less reactive between, between calcium and, and magnesium. So I'm gonna get, have a whole bunch of calcium here. I'm just gonna get one piece and I'm gonna drop that piece in the bottom of my dry glass. I'm gonna put the lid back on my calcium. And when you're ready, Take 50 milliliters of water and dump it into the uh, container with the calcium.